Lake Tahoe is known for its beautiful surroundings and clear water. That water is constantly being invaded by non-native species though, such as the Asian clam, which has made a home in the entrance of Emerald Bay, one of Lake Tahoe's most visited locations. The Emerald Bay Asian Clam Control Project, which includes researchers from UC Davis, is working to eradicate the clam population in Emerald Bay. Well, there's no way we're going to get clams out of Tahoe, well, but out of Emerald Bay. I mean, like I said, you know, 500 boat trips a day in the summer, this is the most popular destination for the entire lake. It's where the majority of people go because it's such a beautiful place. But if we get, you know, sizable clam population growing in the sediment here, that's really going to detract from both the aesthetic value of the bay, you know, which is right now a, a sort of the crown jewel of Tahoe. And, you know, biologically it's going to change the ecosystem as well. And so I think those are two of the main reasons why we really want to try to get a handle on this particular population. Researchers came up with a real simple solution to get rid of the clams. After any sort of chemical treatment was considered out of the question and vacuuming up the clams sucked up too much sediment. Yeah, so it's a, it's a five acre deployment of rubber mats. The rubber mats sit down on the top of the sediment and basically prevent the clams from getting oxygen. And so the clams that are currently burrowed in the sediment, as they lose oxygen, they'll come up and they run into the bottom side of the rubber mat. And the idea is that because this is a relatively small area, as far as the clams in Tahoe go, and it's a relatively new population, we may be able to actually eradicate the clams from the sill of Emerald Bay, which is the ultimate goal. And that would be a great thing because obviously it's one of the jewels of Tahoe. Well, from a scientific point of view, um, I consider it a success already. Uh, we've developed methods to, to, to literally kill them, control them. Um, uh, for, from the point of view of the lake, it's the success will come when there's a management program that is sustainable, where they can, year after year, treat enough of the the known clam areas and, and any new, new ones uh, to the point where uh, the population is no longer out of control. So I think the role of science in this is, is probably going to diminish um, in the coming years uh, and it will become largely a, a management issue. While a barge in the middle of Emerald Bay and large black mats on the lake floor are unsightly, the results will make for a better Tahoe. What's the economic cost of not treating the population? You know, and, and how much negative impact will there be for all of these places that have marinas and are dependent on boat traffic and people wanting to use the water if they start not being able to, you know, see the, the beautiful clear water of Tahoe and there are lots of little white specks and it's hard to walk in the sand underwater, you know, because there are a lot of Asian clams or if they produce unsightly algae blooms. I mean, you know, you have to balance out the the recreational impact that these can have as well. I think if the clarity of Tahoe was four or five meters, um, I think suddenly you know, having an expensive trip to Lake Tahoe wouldn't be a big deal because there'd be lots of lakes you could go to that, that had that. So Tahoe is really, it's a national park quality system and people, people from around the world come here to see it.